Welcome back to the Pro Sports Podcasters on YouTube. My name is Cabrera Ron. Most of you know me as Kobe from the podcast. And today we're talking about SoRare. It's another sports NFT platform. And in this case, it's really built around fantasy sports. And they began, I think, a couple of years back with So Rare Football, which is soccer for everyone here in North America. And they've really taken that to the next level. The amount of work and analytics that goes into that particular platform is phenomenal. The reason I'm getting in now is they just launched So Rare NBA. And like it, like the name says, it's an NBA fantasy system based on their So Rare platform. But it isn't nearly as in-depth as So Rare Football. After looking at the platform for a few days now, I've noticed that there's a far more amount of work that goes into their football side of things than the NBA side of things. And it makes sense. The NBA is new. This is a French, right? A, a France-based company. So soccer is obviously their number one. They also have MLB, but as far as I've heard, it didn't really take off well. But looking at the NBA side of things, they've had a lot of people on board from day one. So there's quite a few people on the platform already as a result. And like any other thing that begins, the prices are high. They're inflated right now. If you can wait maybe a month before you start actually purchasing your digital um, like playing cards slash NFTs for their kind of paywall competitions because they have two levels of competition. They have a free level, which I like. As soon as you sign up on the platform, you're going to get a whole bunch of players that are absolutely free and you can compete in free tournaments. And there is the odd tournament that gives you the opportunity to even win an NFT-based card, in which case you can win money for absolutely nothing. So you got to love that aspect of it. Chances are slim but it's there. But it does give you the opportunity to learn how to play NBA, like so rare NBA and get a feel for it before you actually invest any real money and buy the actual NFTs you think you're going to require to build winning lineups. And when it comes to building lineups, it's very similar to DraftKings. So if you're familiar with DraftKings, you'll know that every player to regardless of sport, is going to have a value and you're only allowed X amount of value for a roster. This is very similar here. In DraftKings, they use like a dollar amount. In most cases, in SoRare NBA, it's just a point amount. But the points are not arbitrary. They're actually based on the points each player accumulates on average over a 10-game period. In most cases, there's also 15-game periods whatever they decide for the actual tournament. But what you're getting then is the actual current value of that player. Now, anyone who knows sports analytics knows that occasionally players will be worth more in that case than they actually are. And there are a lot of players that will be worth less in that case than they actually are. So identifying those players and utilizing them at the right time will be the difference between winning and losing on Soar NBA. But to be honest, their actual... Points platform is extremely simple. It's no nowhere near nearly as in depth as their football side. And right now, it's a little maybe Mickey Mouse in development. It, there isn't that much to it yet. And like I said, be wary of buying the NFTs now because they're all inflated. They're obviously inflated. Having been now in the sports NFT space for a while and comparing it to other sports NFTs, even on Sorare's own platform with their football, which has been in, been running for a few years now, running successfully, you can tell that the prices right now are a bit high. But let's go in-depth with Sorare NBA on the next episode. <laughs>